Rashan, thanks for uh, thanks for that interview for uh, episode two of Yabaras. So, firstly, how have you settled in, and welcome to Cambridge Night. Cheers, thank you. And um, yeah, I've settled in quite well. Um, I've got on with a few of the lads, and you know, they made me feel welcome. So, yeah, it's been alright. Yeah, how did the move come about as well? Because you played for Villa under twenty threes on the Monday against yeah. uh, against Man United and, and beat them comfortably, and then yeah. suddenly you were on loan to Cambridge Night. Um, I was gonna. The loan was gonna supposed to go through before the game as well actually, um, but there was a few things going on. So then I played in the game, and then after the game, um, I spoke to the gaffer, and the gaffer called and said um, that he wants me to come up and train. So I came up. <laughs> and yeah. yeah, and then just tell a bit about the time. The major Premier League debut at the age of 16 as well. So that must have been a pretty incredible moment. Oh yeah, uh, there's. I don't think there will be a moment in my career that I'll probably top that. That was brilliant, especially making my debut at the age of 16. Um, yeah, it was, it was a special day for me and my family. Yeah. And four years later, now you're obviously 20 years of age, how, how have you changed? Have you got more experience in the game as well? Yeah, much more experience. Um, I feel like I've matured a bit more as well. And obviously, got to know the game a bit more. Um, you know, I've made a few more um, appearances for the first team, so it's how many girls up there. Mm. And why came United as well, dropping down down to League Two? Those are obviously uh, reports there are other clubs interested you around League One as well. But why came to United? Um, first of all, I needed game time, so I needed to go somewhere where I was definitely playing, hundred percent get game time. And plus, I spoke to the gaffer, and obviously the gaffer was at Villa um, with me before, so he's worked with me before, and I spoke to him, and he was quite enthusiastic about getting me to come here and you know working with me again. And so he made 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 the move seem like it was the right move for me. So. So I came. Mm. And I imagine that relationship must have been key, like you said, in coming here because you worked with him before. So, and was the fact that Colin Cardle was here already, was that one of the main motivations to come play for Cambridge? Yeah, definitely one of the main motivations as well. And, you know, um, so I've watched a, I watched a few of Cambridge's games as well, and you know, they were doing all right. You know, and the fans, I love the fans are brilliant as well. That the atmosphere that they get at the games as well is a good thing. So you know. Um, there was just other points that made me want to come here as well. Mm. And, and to our atmosphere, first game, I went in Notts County, 17,000 fans. It's not like that every week, believe me, but it was not a bad intro at all into League Two football. That oh, packed that, four stars around the ground. Yeah, that atmosphere was just, oh, ridiculous. And our, fan, our fans made it quite a racket as well. <laughs> they, they sounded louder than all the Notts County fans as well. But yeah, that was a um, um, big attendance to come play my first game in League Two and for Cambridge. So. And I enjoyed it. Yeah, I enjoyed it. And uh, and playing for a club as well like Cambridge at the minute, trying to help them avoid relegation. I guess that's something you add to your experience in the game as well. Oh yeah, definitely. Because obviously, I've gone from playing 23 football to playing, you know, actually fighting for something. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? And um, you know, we're trying to keep ourselves out of the relegation zone. So you know, all the lads are pumped, and every game is a must. Well, must win or even draw. We need to get points out of each game that we play. So. Um, it just gives us something even more to fight for. Mm. And do you know a few players at United already? You know, you seem pretty close to Giovanni on social media. Is, do you know many of the players here? Um, yeah, I'm quite familiar with Giovanni. I've known him before I came here, so he's probably the only player that I've known before I came here. So um, coming here, him being here and me coming here made it quite easier as well for me to settle in. So yeah. Yeah, and just we'll obviously watch you for a few games already, but just for those who just want a bit more info on what type of player you are in terms of, are you more creative forward or a goal scorer, would you say? Uh, I like to see different. myself as a bit of ball, <laughs> a little bit of ball. Um, you know, being a forward player, you have to you know how to score goals and create stuff as well, so I like to see myself as a bit of ball here. And what would you say your strongest attribute is? Um, my pace and finishing, I'd like to say. That's my strongest attributes, but I've still got a lot to work on in my finishing as well. Can always improve. Mm. And the game after that Notts County one, then back at the Abbey at home against Northampton. Not a bad second game either, but three two, last minute, last minute winner. Describe those scenes at the end oh. when, <laughs> David and me, when David and me smashed them away. Oh that was it was brilliant. It was brilliant. Um, I feel like we deserve to, to win that game as well. So especially getting that goal in the last minute made emotions absolutely flourish out of everybody to be honest. Um, yeah, I think we, we, we comfortably we were comfortable in the whole game. We should have won too fair, but you know there's like football goals and we scored a last minute win that it was brilliant. The atmosphere was oh, it was amazing. Yeah and Jabba runs one way, Demi with those Jabba, you can run down with tracks on as well. It's absolutely mental. <laughs> oh yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. <laughs> um so then desperate to score as well in that game, obviously you had a chances yourself and, and you had a few shots just, just over the bar. So how important is you to get that first Cambridge goal? Um 
I'm not in a rush to get my first goal because I know it will come and you know when it comes I hope another one will come and another one will come and, that, and keep that momentum going so yeah I'm not in a rush to get my first goal but I know it will come and when it comes plenty more should come after mm. and obviously now they're playing week in week out for Cambridge the number nine on your back as well do you feel that's pressure being the main striker at Cambridge or is it an excitement and, and looking forward to what's come? No it's excitement use it as motivation to you know show the fans what I can do you know having a lot of pressure on your shoulders on you build you as a player again so you just gotta take it take it take it in just get a few fans questions out from the old uh, twitter feed uh mainly the questions much what i've asked already how are you enjoying the experience so far um, yeah as i said already the experience is brilliant you know it's a good club you know good players and you know they're desperate to stay in this league and keep us outside the relegation zone and hopefully that's what we'll do and everyone just said, what's the difference in terms of preparation from training here at Clare College for United to then how you were the under 23s at Villa? Um, as I said again, you know, we're fighting for something. You know, each game we got to get points out of either a win or a draw because each point count really. So, yeah, it's much different. You know, you got to G yourself up for the game 10 times more than you would playing 23s football. Mm. And is your routine different at all in terms of arrivals to games? Is it much the same? Um, I try to keep my routine the same for every game, no matter where I play, whether I'm playing first team or I'm playing 23s, I try to keep my routine exactly the same. It's a little superstition that I have. <laughs> and uh, another one just says, uh, What made you come to Games United? We've already discussed that. Uh, and Jabba Beer as well, you found out from him quite recently. Do you think that's the perfect sort of striker for you? Someone slightly bigger can hold the ball up and you can run off them? Yeah, um, yeah, Jabal. <laughs> Jabal is a very good striker and you know, it's good to play with him. You know, we're two, two different types of strikers and you know, two different types of strikers works well. You know, he's a big, you know, and put hold of the ball and I can get in around him, you know, play, hopefully play a little one twos off him, you know, and create chances. Mm. And of course, Alex Jones came in as well, a similar striker as well. Yeah. Um, um, I haven't really said much. I think I've watched a few games that he played in, but I know that he had a um, bad injury, so he was out for a while. But I've seen him play in a few games, and yeah, he looks a decent striker, a good finisher as well. He scored a few goals, and I've seen the way he plays, and yeah. Brilliant. Thanks, Sean. And just, just lastly, then, in terms of your overall impression of Cambridge, then playing with Villa and then turn up at Cambridge United, the ground, for the, seeing it for the first time, seeing the fans for the first time, what was going through your head? Um, just uh, I just needed to keep my focus and. You know, make sure I have a good game and show the fans, you know, what I could do. Get them on my side nice and early. Because, um, you know, if the fans are not on your side, you know, <laughs> you're not really going to have a good game, right? Yeah. So, you know, I just wanted to, you know, keep my focus, have a good game, get the fans on my side and show them what I could do. I'm certainly sure you've done that so far, Thanks for talking to us and all the best next year. Cheers, thank you very much.